Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. There are a lot of breaking changes, additional changes in Angular 17 which are not there in previous versions of Angular. One such piece is a template control flows that is part of structural directives. That's what we are going to cover today. This is part 30 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 29 episodes, make sure that you go through them in order to learn Angular end to end because there are a lot of changes. Alright, so what are structural directives? Structural directives are responsible for altering the structure of the DOM, right? And what, by, what I mean by DOM is the HTML elements in the page. Structural directives are preceded by an at the rate symbol syntax in the syntax, okay? I'll, I'll cover that shortly, but just understand there are three types of structural directives. If, for, and switch. If, if you're coming from any programming background, JavaScript, C, C++, Java, you will know what is an if else statement, right? So based on that condition, if else will show some element or remove an element. For loop is a loop through which we can generate multiple copies and loop through them, iterate through a collectible and display them. Switch statement is again conditional based displays one element from a set of elements based on condition. Remember the changes now. In Angular till Angular 16 we were writing with asterisk ngf, asterisk ng4 and asterisk ng switch. But in Angular 17 onwards there is a new template flow that is used and that's what I'm going to show you both. What it means is that you can still use these in Angular 17 but this is preferred okay so I will do a conditional thing and I'll show you both options of how you can use if for switch and also use ng if with asterisk conditions all right so let's get started into code all right so I've opened up my app I'll uh, start the application if you are new here we are building a crew management system Make sure that you like this video and subscribe if you are new here. Alright, localhost 4200, this is good. For simple use, um, I'll use the component that we have already used earlier, which is signals. Right. So this is what we had done earlier. But if you want, let me do one thing. Let me make it easy for you to understand. So I'll generate a component. I'll say structural call it structural so there is a new component I generated I'll go ahead in app routes and I will add that right and say so the reason I'm doing this is because it will be easy for you to understand structural component save it take this route now ng serve Right. Uh, if you're new here and you don't know what is a component, I have covered all of this in detail earlier. So make sure that you go through that as well. So it says structural works, right? So that means the component is set up and our route is set up. Now, in the coding part, let's have a variable. Okay. I'll keep it very, very simple for you first and then we'll make it little complicated. So let's say you have A equal to 10 and B equal to 20 two variables nothing complex simple now in the structural uh, in the template if you want to use it right so how do you use it so in previous versions of angular you would write something like this if b is greater than a b is greater and same thing if you copy paste again and write here a is greater than b right a is greater or b is greater right so now when you come here and see nothing is showing because a is 10 b is 20 that's right and why are we not seeing that let's check have i made any uh, mistake uh, looks good to me did i save yeah and it did generate let's see if there is any error yeah there is an error in our template it says okay so the reason it is giving error is because this component ng if 
NG4, all of this comes from common module. Okay, so if you don't provide this, it will give you error. So now errors are gone. We should see the output, which is B is greater because B is 20. Now I'm making it 5. B is 5, so we should see A is greater. So this is how we write if else, right? This is NG if basically in um, Angular 16 till Angular 16. So in Angular 17, how can we write it? So in Angular 17, you can use if like this directly and you can write if A is greater than B and then in the curly braces we can write uh, A so see now 10 is greater than 5 is coming from this if statement and the best part is that you can also write a else to it so see B is greater than A see it is saying 10 is greater than 5 if I change the values now it says 55 is greater than 10 because it's coming from the else statement so see this will give you much more control in how you can write your code rather than this right so that's an additional thing in angular 17 this is how you can use at the rate if at the rate else you can have multiple ifs you can have multiple if else condition nested all right now that's the beauty of it this is about ng if what about ng for let's see that also so what i'll do is uh, again i'll keep things simple for you to understand um, let's say i have something called items and it's an array and just like any other loops we can loop here also now this was the if conditions now if i have to write it in ng4 i'll write like this i'll write let item of items right and then we'll loop it and we can just simply write something like um, for item of items okay and we can just simply write item so basically this is an iteration that you are doing and you are printing the values that is in the array that is using asterisk ng4 okay just like how you used uh, ng if now if you have to write this as part of the for with the new syntax you can just write for and then you can write item of items and this is where it is required you will need a track okay track item and then you can just print the item here you can put it there and save it and see now again this is coming from ng4 using new the rate for if you okay all right so <coughs> this is for the using the new syntax which is at the rate for this is using ng4 right now the syntax is pretty simpler now unless uh, you had to write all of this ng4 and especially with the controls it's much easy last um, we have the switch condition so let's say you have something variable um, which says username equal to admin or user role equal to admin and you can write ng switch or you can write the new um, which is using the switch case so with the new one you would just do a switch and it will take an input in our case it is user role and you'll write here case and in this we'll write if it's an admin then do this if it's manager do this or if it's a default then do this right so let's print some values and say user is admin here I'm going to put user is manager user is default user. all right 
so let's go ahead and see it says user is admin so now go ahead and make it manager and now it says user is manager because it's going through the switch statement and it's checking the value so now take a look at the new syntax in the angular 17 earlier we were writing this ng if like this with asterisk mark ng if sometimes the problem with this is that it would do a re-render multiple times and your performance of the application can go down instead this is much more cleaner easier way to write and read and maintain right so same way with at the rate 4 you can use at the rate 4 that's the new syntax and same way you can use at the rate switch right so these are structural directives because they change the structure of the application they can add they can change they can remove etc all right now you can use multiple things you can club them together and say if uh, let's say a is greater than b if a is greater than b then only loop else don't loop right so you can add multiple conditions like this so see now this is gone because a is not greater than b now if you make it a is greater than b the content comes back so that's why it is called structural directives because they change the structure of the element of the page and you can see you can club multiple things you can club if in uh, you can add a for inside if you can have a if inside for you can have switch inside for you can have switch inside if etc etc that's all logical processing but from syntax point of view this is how you will write the new at the rate if at the rate for and at the rate switch I hope it's clear I hope now you will be able to write the new syntax again like I said angular 17 supports this format also which is asterisk ng if asterisk ng for and asterisk ng switch all right you can use anything but going forward start using this template it's much easier simpler to write simpler to understand I hope it is clear in the next episode we'll learn about attribute directives where we'll talk about ng class ng model ng style and so on I hope you are enjoying the angular 17 series learning there are a lot of brand new changes which I want you to learn and master if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much see you in the next episode